Artemisia gathered the priests, wizards, and mystics from every corner of the Empire. They wrapped the young king in Cimmerian gauze dipped in ancient potions, and set him to wander the desert. Till in a delirium of heat and thirst, he stumbled upon a hermit's cave. Xerxes passed the vacant eyes and empty souls of the hollow creatures that dwell in the dark corners of all men's hearts. And in that darkness, he surrendered himself completely to power so evil and perverse. But as he emerged, no part of a human man that was Xerxes survived. His eyes blazed like scarlet coals. He was stripped, cleansed, glabrous and smooth. Xerxes was reborn a god. Artemisia trusted no one. So in the cover of night, the palace was cleansed of all Xerxes' allies. All those he trusted. All those who had raised him. All those he had once looked to for counsel were quickly introduced to her wrath. And as the God King stood before his people, Artemisia watched her flawless manipulation take shape. For glory's sake, for vengeance sake. War! War is coming to Greece, in the visage of a monster army over a million strong. They say you are the bravest of our captives. They say you are a whore from the Eastern Seas. <clears throat> You're not the smartest. Your commander is a Greek, just like me. You Persian men take your orders from a Greek woman. Yes, my brother, I am Greek by birth. And I have Greek blood running through my veins. But my heart... is Persian. Within hours, the Greek fleet will be shattered. What of our master and the much-feared Spartans? There's nothing to fear. Only King Leonidas and his personal guard of 300 have marched to fight. They'll collapse instantly. You? Do you agree? Many will perish 